Side back out to Techmeyer for Koster for three. Oh, yeah. baby, you betcha. Left inside, now back across to Techmeyer. Deep three. He'll hit it anyway. He's going to drive inside. Back out. Koski for three. Yes. Koski gets it. Down the floor. Koster. Look for the dunk. Yes. Bearcat dunk. Work around pass back to Koster. Inside Techmeyer. What a find. Techmeyer finishes. You? Yes! Cannon Coster. Out for Coster. And here's a duck opportunity! Yes! Hello everyone and welcome live here to Kearney High School for its game two of this North Black Kearney High doubleheader as the Kearney High boys take on their brothers from the West, North Platte High School in this GNAC showdown. It was over the weekend the Bearcats competed in their final GNAC championship as they will head on to the Heartlands Athletic Conference starting next season and won it with a 54-44 victory over the Norfolk Panthers. Uh, the Bearcats did not play North, uh, North Platte in that tournament even though North Platte was the host, but they get them tonight. It's Bearcats North Platte for possibly the last time as members of the Greater Nebraska Athletic Conference. It's Carney coming in with a record of seven and three. Again, they won the conference championship uh, this past weekend. They beat McCook in the opening round. McCook was the eight seed. Carney was the one, 76 to 33. While it was the Bearcats uh, who won the second round to Scott's Bluff uh, by a score of 71 to 40. Four, and then in the final, 54-44 against Norfolk to win the GNAC title. It is North Platte coming record with four and five. They uh, clinched uh, fourth place after upsetting Columbus in the opening round, fell to North uh, Scott's Bluff uh, in a very close game that came down to the wire. As we get it, it was uh, Scott's Bluff hitting a bucket near the end of uh, the game with around five seconds to go. They lost that one 46 to 44, and that's why the record stands at four and five. So Bearcats come in. One of the most notable things from over the weekend was the fact that the Bearcats are getting their secondary score that they lacked at the beginning of the season uh, due to the absence of Shiloh Robinson, the 6'7 post out for the year with a wrist injury. And it's sophomore Seth Stroh stepping up for the Bearcats, averaging uh, 9.6 points per game, but have it, had a very great weekend. Uh, had a career high 15 points and 15 rebounds against Scott's Bluff in the GNAC semifinals. So maybe he's starting to come around uh, as that secondary score. He averaged 11 points uh, a game in the GNAC over the weekend. But then it was, of course, Cannon Coster uh, who once again dominated each game especially against Norfolk, who the Bearcats played a week ago and lost here 43-40. He only scored 12 points in that matchup, 
went the GNAC championship and has scored 28 points and six rebounds. The Bearcats really responded well. Uh, Bearcats in that Norfolk game lost. Uh, they couldn't really solve that zone defense, that zone 2-3 that Norfolk put on. Uh, but then it was the Bearcats figured out how to defend it, how to get through it. They ran a lot. They liked. The, they fed it inside to both Coster and Stroh and were able to get the offense going. But I think the uh, most especially thing was defense. The Bearcats defended really well, even though Norfolk scored uh, one more. They only scored one more point than they did in the last matchup. Uh, but it was really the defense, a lot of blocks uh, by Coster, who had around three. So defense and the team's coming around, and they have a chance to get another one here tonight. Well, we're going to take one break, come back, and get you the starting lineups and keys to the game for this GNAC showdown between Carney, North Platte, coming up next here on the Bearcat Sports Network. All right, Cannon, promo this week, Grand Island. We're going to put on a walk shirt here so you can rip it off. You sure? Yeah, you only get to wear it for five seconds. Besides, you get to rip it off. All right. Welcome back live here to the pregame show at uh, here at Kearney High as the Bearcats take on the North Platte Bulldogs. Let's get to the starting lineups. First, we're going to start with North Platte. First is a 6'5 senior. Number one, Xavion Mitchell averaging at 13.6 points per game. Arguably their most athletic player on the floor for the Bulldogs. Then is a 6'5 senior. Number 11, Bryson Cool, the walk-on commit wide receiver to Nebraska. Then you got a 6'2 junior. Number 23, Caleb Horn, a 5'9 senior. Number 24, Christian Ramos. And then a 6'4 senior, number 25, Cade Root. Uh, tall lineup for North Platte, to say the least. They got two 6'5 and one 6'4 uh, players out there, so certainly having a, a little bit of a height advantage. But then you have the number six rated team in the state, according to the Omaha World Herald, in the Kearney Bearcats. Sorry, first is the 6'1 junior, number three, Carson Schwarz. Then you got a 5'10 senior, number 15, Matt Studi, a 6'4 sophomore, number 20, Seth Stroh. Uh, you got a 6'3 senior, number 32, Sam Straka. And then finally, the 2016 All State. Uh, as a junior, averages 24 points a game. The 6'3 senior, number 44, Cannon Coster. He averaged 24 points over the weekend in the GNAC tournament, highlighted by that 28-point performance mentioned earlier uh, against Norfolk. Just a reminder that I am your host, Jeff Ekstrom, along with our producers, uh, Allie Myers, Jen Longfellow, our cameraman, Alyssa Epler, and our executive producer, Robert Goff. We're excited here for Toga Night is the theme here for the Rowdies for this GNAC showdown here for Kearney and North Platte. They're, setting, they're getting set up for the national anthem, so we will take a break and come back for the keys of the game and get you set up for the tip-off here between North Platte, Kearney, here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Ekstrom! Grab a while. Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing.
Welcome back live here to Kearney High as the North Platte Bulldogs take it on the Kearney Bearcats here on Toga Night at Kearney High. Yeah, Bearcats rated number six in the state as we are ready to, they're announcing the starting lineups and ready to get ready here. And if you notice in the warm up shorts, he got the Bearcats wearing the Dream Big awareness for Friday as they will be uh, wearing the Dream Big shirts for uh, awareness for autism. A uh, great thing by the Kearney High School basketball team to do. And now let's get the keys to the game for both teams. If you're North Platte, use your size. Pound the inside. You got 6'5 Bryson Cool, 6'5 Xavier Mitchell, and 6'4 Cade Root. The highest, uh, tallest player you got in the Bearcats, 6'4 Sestro, and 6'3 uh, Cannon Costner, 6'3 Sam Straka. So definitely a height advantage. But North Platte's got to do that and able to win this game. For Kearney, what I noticed last week that North Platte played Scott's Bluff, they like. They left a lot of guys kicked out by the three-point line, and that's how Scott Swift really won that game. They hit their shots, especially from the three-point line, and so I think if they're Bearcats, they gotta shoot well tonight. They like to leave shooters open, especially on the perimeter, so Bearcats need to hit their shots, uh, but again, that's not, I mean, it's not their weakest strong point. Their strongest is uh, running the floor, and I think North Platte is athletic enough to keep up with it, but if, and another thing, too, is, yeah, if they keep running it, I think the Bearcats will be just fine. So we are just about underway here in Kearney. Just a little past history. Kearney High, uh, even with a lopsided rivalry like this, especially in football, Bearcats are only 11-9 versus North Platte in the regular season since 2003. But head coach Drake Baranek is 2-0 against the Bulldogs uh, so far in the in his third season, the past two times they've won. And it's Coster and Mitchell at tip, and it's gonna be Mitchell to win it. It's gonna be Ramos, Christian Ramos, guarded by Carson Schwartz to start this one out. Screen by Root, now Stroh and Schwartz are gonna double team him. They wanted to walk, but out open is Horn. He's gonna go up, and there's gonna be a charge. And that is Sam Strocker right away. Caleb Horn is gonna be charged with the charge he'd found. <laughs> Funny words there. And so the Bearcats are gonna be taking it over here. 12 seconds in, a charge foul on Caleb Horn, and it'll be Carson Schwarz. Pass it in the corner, Sam Strock on the screen. Cannon Coster back out to Schwarz. Free throw line, gives it to Stroh, goes up, nothing. Rebound is by Xavion Mitchell, and there's going to be a foul called. It's one on North Platte. All right, I think they're going to call a travel. Now here's Carson Schwarz. 28 seconds in, Coster in the corner, Matt Studi. Guarded by Horn. Pass to Coster, top of the point. Gives it to Strzok, and now the corner is Gibby Stroh. Guarded by Root, Coster, Schwarz. Get a drive in, goes up, and no. Rebound is made by Studi. And they're going to reset the offense here. Schwarz, guarded by Ramos. Here near the perimeter. Gives it to Matt Studi in the corner. Stroh wants it inside, can't find a passing lane. And they're going to rotate it back around to Cannon Coster. Could drive in on Cruel, and there's going to be a foul called on the Nebraska walk on commit. That's Cruel's first team, second already in the first minute five. Schwarz looking for some, got to Coster. Now he's going to back it out, gives it to Schwarz. Fakes the three, going to drive in. Looks for someone in, wide open in the corner, Matt Studi. No, rebound is by Mitchell, his second tonight. And here is Ramos, gonna bring up the floor. Scoreless in mid-20, steal though by Sam Straka, and he's just gonna, blocked by Mitchell, but they're gonna call goaltending. So the Bearcats fans giving them Heck, but it's going to be Sam Straka gets the first two points of this one as Cade Root is going to throw it out. Cruel guarded by Coster. Should be a good matchup there. Cruel is a big, thick post player, but so is Cannon Coster. So that should be an entertaining one here tonight. Double team, and it's going to be inside. Xavion Mitchell is going to lay it in for the first points for the Bulldogs. And here comes Matt Studi. Gives it to Sam Straka. Schwartz, the Coster, guarded by Crew again. In the corner, Sestro, North Platte playing that man-to-man. -man. 
Off the screen, Koster get pull up three. He, no, in and out, rebound again by Xavion Mitchell. And it's stolen away. Carson Schwarz to Matt Studi. And now the Bearcats are going to look for something. Wanted inside to Koster, but nothing there. It's giving Sam Strzok. It gives it to Schwarz, guarded by Ramos. Drive in. Schwarz is going to lay it up and in. Carson Schwarz. Full court press right now for the Bearcats. And Schwarz, another interception. Another turnover to alley -oop, but Cruel said no. Stroh will give him up, draws the foul, and it's going to be on the floor. I believe they're going to call it. And they're going to call it on Cade Root. His first team's third. Strzok could pull up three. Yes! Sam Strzok has five early on. The North Platts got to find an answer. Stole away by Coster. Gonna draw the foul. Who goes to the line? That's Cruel's second. North Platte struggling right now with that full court press. And Coster will go to the line earlier this year. Broke the record, Carnegie record for most consecutive free throws made with 24. Almost a for sure. Make from Coster. He's going to make that one his first points of the basketball game. Here's Coster's second. Too strong. Rebound is by Cruel. And they're going to bring it up the floor. And it's going to be stolen away. And here's Coster. Studi, he has an open leg, can go up with it, no. Rebound is going to be a jump ball, and it will stay with the Bearcats. And Brett Oldmiller will check in for Matt Studi. And so, in the corner, Coster for three, yes! Cannon, Coster, 4-3. 9 0 run right now for the Bearcats since this game was tied at two. Bryson Cruel, Sam Straka now guards him. Oban Miller guards Mitchell down low. That's an interesting one to watch. Cruel, now on Schwarz. Fade away, jumper for Cruel. It is no good. Rebound is by Seth Stroh, and they're going to bring it down. Coster loses it, and Cruel's going to pick it up and bring it down the floor. Ramos for North Platte, going to bring it in, and it's going to be Caleb Horn, who is going to lay it up and in for North Platte's second bucket of the game, and that run is over. 11-4, Bearcats still in the front court now, North Platte. Cannon Coster, guarded by Cruel, gives it to Straka. In the corner is Brett Obermiller, guarded by Caleb Horn. 3.40 left opening quarter. Obermiller getting a little jumper. He got it with the right hand. Brett Obermiller. And here's Ramos. Gives it in the corner for Mitchell. Bulldogs working the front court. Tip pass, but Cruel's going to shoot a three anyway. No, rebound is by Coster. And it's stolen away. Cruel is going to go up, and no, rebound is by Sestro. 13-4, Bearcats in the front quarter, North Platte. Straka, another three. No, rebound is by Cade Root, and there is going to be a timeout for North Platte. It will take it with them. 3-18, opening quarter. Bearcats lead at 13-4 here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back live here to Kearney High where the Bearcats have a 13-4 lead against the North Platte Bulldogs. 
Right now leading the way for the Bearcats is Sam Straka, the 6'3 senior, has five points, a field goal and a three-pointer. Uh, All-Stater Cannon Caster uh, has four, a three-pointer and a free throw. Cade Root to throw it in. The senior for North Platte gets it to Kristen Ramos. They're in their own backcourt. And Ramos worked on by Carson Swords. Ramos gets it in their front court, and it's going to be tipped by Coster, but Mitchell's going to get it back in their backcourt. Mitchell, now double team, gets it to Ramos, guarded by Oba Miller. Bearcats, man to man. Inside Mitchell, worked on by Stroh. Mitchell goes up, and it's blocked by Stroh. Actually, they're going to call a jump ball by that. So it will stay down on this end. And that's a good entertaining matchup. Sestro, very athletic. Same with Xavion Mitchell. Horn gives it to Ramos. Top of the point. Gives it off to Mitchell. Guarded by Ilma. Inside, Cade Root. Guarded by Coster. Cade Root goes with the right hand. No. And a great defense by Coster. He gets the rebound. Hardy Bearcats. Cannon Coster gets it over. The Inside. Stroh's wide open. He'll lay it in. Seth Stroh still at full court press. 15-4, Bearcats. Ramos gives it to Mitchell. Xavion Mitchell inside Cade Root. Now back out. Gives it to Ramos in the corner. And now out there for is Kyra Kramer, and a shot is off. Rebound is by Cannon Coster's third. Coster won't go inside. Now the corner. Royce Austin is now in. And now Carson Schwartz is getting reset. The offense directed by Carney head coach Drake Baronic. Now maybe North Platte shifting to the 3-2 zone. They are. It's hit pass, but it's going to be rebound by Austin. Rotates it around inside to Seth Strell. Goes go up with it. He's going to get fouled. Two shots coming for the sophomore post. Cade Root, his second foul. Team's fifth. We still got a minute 28 left in the opening quarter. Stroh's first free throw is good. And checking in for the Bogs is number 10, T. Uh, with that, Stroh makes another one. And now still four court press, 17-4 Bearcats down. The floor is Caleb Horn, just pull up jump shot. It was partially blocked. Rebound by with that, he's gonna get the points for North Platte. Down the floor quickly, Seth Stroh is gonna answer right back. Now Bearcats again, still on that full court press. With Ed, gonna get it mid court now. Mitchell, and there's gonna be a travel Mitchell before he can get the shot away. And he's not happy. He's an emotional player. Saw him over this weekend. Frustrated he was against Scott's Bluff, and he shows it. 19-6, final minute of the opening quarter. GNAC showdown, Carney. North Platte tip pass, Coster has in the far corner. Gets it to Austin. Now to junior Carson Schwarz. Royce Austin inside, Seth Stroh's gonna go up with it. Left hand, he's gonna lay it in. Seth Stroh has eight. Full court press again, Caleb Horn. Brings it to the floor in the corner with Ed. Ooh, wanted, uh, kinda looked like he wanted a fake pass. Tipped away with Ed to get it back. Xavion Mitchell's gonna dunk it. But it's 21-8 Bearcats after the Xavion Mitchell dunk. And they're going to wait for the last 10 seconds of this opening quarter. Schwarz has it guarded by Christian Ramos. Screen by O'Miller. Going to drive in. Floater. Got it. And that's going to do it to end this quarter. Christian Schwarz, second field goal of the game. And the Bearcats lead it 23-8.
You're watching live here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Welcome back here to Kearney High. Coming out of the tie, coming out of the quarter. Bearcats lead at 23 to eight. Leading the way is sophomore Sestro. Eight points and two rebounds. Behind him is Cannon Coster, four points and three rebounds. Carson Schwartz also has four points. While Brett Elmer has two and Sam Straka has five. Four North Platt leaders that quarter. Zavion Mitchell, four points, three rebounds. But... More Platts in foul trouble. Two on Bryson Cruel, two on Cade Root. That's two of their taller players. They're both back out on the floor, but Xavion Mitchell is not. Bearcats start out with it. Carson Schwartz, top of the point. Gives it to Matt Studi. Alley oop, yes! Cannon Coster! Alley oop time here in Kearney. Christian Ramos, Bryson Cruel, we're gonna have it. And it's gonna be to Kramer, now gives it to Cade Root again. He's gonna drive down back in the corner, Bryce Cruel goes back out, it's Kramer in the corner, Ramos fake the three. Good defense by the Bearcats right now. Great man to man, Bryson Cruel. Spin move, goes up with the right hand, and no rebound is by Sam Straka. They're gonna bring it down the floor, Cannon Coster. And it's gonna be a travel, yep. Took a little too many steps, looked like he might have gotten tripped a little. Wasn't able to get the pass on. And here is down the floor, Kaya Kramer gives it to Ramos. Oh, hard collision, nothing called, collision. Was by with Ed and Matt Studi. Carson Schwartz is going to push the floor. He's going to lay it up and in. Carson Schwartz. Here's Bryson Cruel. 19 point lead, a minute and a half into this second quarter. And there's going to be a timeout by North Platte. We'll take it with them. Led by the alley oop dunk to Cannon Coster. Carney has their first four points of the quarter. It's 27-8 Bearcats. You're watching live here in the Bearcat Sports Network. Welcome back to Kearney High. Coming out of the timeout, the Bearcats are on a 4-0 run and lead North Platte 27-8. Sestro leads with eight points. Cannon Coster has six. Now is Bryson Cruel to throw it in. Gives it. Two Ramos, or excuse me, that's number 14. Derek Ramos checking in. Stole away, Coster, and it's, uh, it's Duck City here at Kearney. Cannon Coster. And here is, with that gonna take in, a jumper, no. Rebound is 
by Kosser, but there's going to be a foul. And Kosser's going to be charged with the foul. Teams first. Cruel going to throw it out for Derek Ramos. Christian Ramos and Derek Ramos most likely related. And it's going to be Kai Kramer, double teen. Stroh gives it to Bryson Cruel. Cade Root guarded by Coster. And here's Kramer. Get Derek Ramos. Steal temp by Stroh. Miss. Gives it to Cruel. Goes in. Fade away. Jumper. Yes. Bryson Cruel hits his first two points of the game. And it's Carson Schwartz. Five and a half left. Straka inside. Sestro back out. No one really now. So kind of moves inside. Bearcats looking to make a play here. Cannon Coster. Got the screen off. Stro. Matt Studi near wing. Carson Schwartz gives in the corner. Sam Straka. Now inside. Coster went immediately inside. It was off Derek Ramos. He tipped it out for North Platte. And it's going to be possession. Bearcats. And now Xavion Mitchell will check in for number 10. It's he uh, with that. Here's the Sam Straka three. No. Rebound is by Sestro. And up and in for Sestro on the offensive rebound. Sestro now has 10. Bryson Cruel stops. The court now can get it in to Kramer. About triple team, not double team. Gives it back out to Cruel. 444 left. Bryson Cruel working on Stro. And yep, there's going to be the body foul. On Sestro. He's trying to poke in too many times. And that's gonna cost him. Brett Owen Miller checks in for Stro. The sophomore lean scorer. All players with 10. McCade Root takes it, guarded by Schwartz. Gives it off to Derek Ramos in the corner. Kramer. Now to Root. Rotates it around inside. Xavier Mitchell about double teamed. Now gets it to Ruin inside. Can go up. He's going to get fouled. Matt Studi keeps his arms up there in a little protest, but he's going to call it the foul anyway. No, no, they're going to call on Sam Straka. His first team's third. Cade Roop is going to go to the line. His first one is no good. Root has no points. Root's second free throw is going to be good. And here is Matt Studi in midcourt. Now gives it to Schwartz. Pitches across. Now they're going to, Matt Studi's going to run the offense here. 4 10, left second quarter. Bearcats lead by 20, 31 11. Matt Studi gives it to Coster. Now get a dribble. And just get rotate around the perimeter. Looking for something. Matt Studi thought about the pull up three. Now to give it to Schwarz. Ten, ten feet out. Now gives it to Sam Straka. Back to Schwarz. Top of the perimeter. Cannon Coster guarded by Cruel. Looking to go one on one. Going to drive in. Going to go up with it. He's going to get the roll. Cannon Coster. Use his big 6'3 body to go up there and get it. And Xavion Mitchell can't handle the low pass by Bryson Cruel. Maybe that's why he's a wide receiver. It's going to be a turnover. And so Matt Studi is going to be checked out for Colin Murray, another sophomore. He is a guard. He's going to be more of a sniper than anything. Good shooter. Can Coster off the screen. Colin Murray rotates it now to Brett Overmiller. Coster gives it across to Murray. Drives baseline. Gets it back out. Schwarz. Now at Overmiller in the corner. Gonna drive back out. It's gonna be stolen away by Caleb Horn. And he's get batted down the floor on the run. Derek Ramos can't get there in time. And the Bearcats will stick with the possession. And now Christian Ramos checks in for Derek Ramos. And 
2.59 left here. First half, and Schwartz is going to drive and get the foul on Ramos. Number 24 is second. Team's sixth. One more. Next foul, the Bearcats will go to the line for the rest of the half. Obermiller to Koster. And he's going to set to dribble. Now Schwarz is going to come around, but fake by Koster. Now he's going to give it to Schwarz. Bearcats with the basketball in their front court. Colin Murray. Koster inside. Stroh, he's going to get it. The steal attempt by Horde. It was missed, and Stroh gets another basket. And it's Christian Ramos, guarded by Carson Schwarz. North Platte trails by 14. 2.15 left, second quarter. Xavier Mitchell inside. Spin move, and they're going to call the foul instead of a jump ball. Seth Stroh will get his second. And a couple of words check in. Number 33, Kyle Kramer, and checking in for the first time is number 22, Chesney Tapman. And now Nathan Murray comes in for Sestro, the senior. One of the five seniors on this basketball team for the Bearcats. Back out, Caleb Horn gives it to Xavion Mitchell. Ramos in the corner, far corner, Caleb Horn. Mitchell thought about the spot, spot up three. You take a deep three, no. Rebound by Tapman, going to go up with it, and he's going to get the two points. Off the offensive rebound is Chesney at Tapman. And it's 35-13, minute 45. Colin Murray to Overmiller in the corner. Inside of Nathan Murray. Jump stop, gives it to Overmiller, rotate it around. Carson Schwartz drives baseline. Can go up with it. No foul call. Rebound. Overmiller going to go up with it. It gets the roll. And Overmiller gets the two points. Mitchell spin move. Going to go up. And it's giving me a foul on the floor. Shot will not count. Well, Platt doing a nice job to bring it back up quickly. Brett Overmiller charged the foul. His first, team's fifth. All five fouls have come in the second quarter for the Bearcats. Caleb Horn, spot up three, yes. Caleb Horn off the inbounds pass, but Koster goes inside. Obermiller off the tip pass. And guess what? That's some wide receiver skills right there. Being able to identify the tip pass right there and just went up and uh, completed the kind of alley oop layup. Here's Xavier Mitchell, drives in, nothing called. <laughs> Chores is going to get it as he's falling down, and it's Royce Austin, brings it up the floor. Austin Coster fakes the pull-up jumper. But now going to reset for the final four, 40 seconds as the Barrett Cats lead it by 23. Coster deep three, no. Rebound, Nathan Murray gives it to Coster, ducks it, and the foul! Wow. Cannon Coster, his third dunk of the game. Caleb Horn. His second, and Coster goes to the line. He has 12 points this half. What a dunk. I'm almost happy when Coster dunks, because you know what? That's going to the highlight reel. And so Jane Ingen, the junior off the bench, just like Colin Murray, is more of a sniper. 20 seconds to go. Xavion Mitchell drives in. He's going to have a little dunk of his own. Xavion Mitchell. And here comes Cart Royce Austin, gives it to Studi. Final five seconds, drives in. Ingen, Austin at the buzzer. No, too strong, and that is the half. The Bearcats, a dominating performance. They lead it 42-18 going into half. We'll take a break. 
Come back with the halftime report. That scores from around the state in preview of the second half. Again, Bearcats lead it.
Welcome back live here to Kearney. Halftime, 42 to 18 in favor of the Bearcats. Absolute dominance highlighted by the 13 first half points by Cannon Coster, which included three highlight dunks. And you know that's gonna be going on the pump up video come Monday. Uh, but Kearney uh, out, they had 23-8 at the end of the first quarter. Then they outscored North Platte 14-7 in the second quarter to make it 42-18. Uh, leading the scores for the Bearcats, Cannon Coster has 13. Nine of them came in the second quarter. Uh, second leading score, Seth Stroh, he has uh, 12 points. Uh, Brett Obermiller, he has six. So does Carson Schwarz has six. Sam Straka has five. And uh, rebounders, Kenny Coster leads the team with four. Four North Platte lead score is Xavion Mitchell, six points, three rebounds. Bryson Cruel, two points, one rebound. Caleb Horn has five points. Christian Ramos, no points. Cade Root has one point and one rebound. And it is uh, number 10, T. Uh, Witted. He has two points and a rebound. And then lastly, Chesney Tapman has two points and one rebound. As at the half and about a minute and a 20 away from beginning of the second half, Bearcats lead it 42 to 18 in a blowout right now. Uh, wouldn't be surprising if, at, I don't know if we'll get to this point, but 40 is uh, the runoff clock uh, kind of mercy rule. If it hits 40, team leads by 40 points, then it will be continuous clock, except for timeouts and end of quarters. Let's get some halftime scores for uh, around the state. Uh, halftime, Beatrice leads 28-16. Uh, for boys basketball, Lincoln Pius leads uh, Omaha Northwest 54-35. Uh, for boys, uh, Lincoln High leads Grand Island 58-57 with 15 seconds to go. That's a good one. Lincoln High will come to Kearney High in a few weeks. Bellevue East leads Pavilion La Vista South 48-45 uh, in going into the fourth quarter. Uh, GI Northwest is losing to Columbus Lakeview 24-18 at the half. And looking more around... Uh, looking for a Class A. The big one right now was Grand Island. It was uh, the Bearcats girls who won earlier today over North Platte. The game, they almost kind of blew the lead. They defeated them 52 to 38, so did the Bearcats. And we are up close to underway here for The second half, Xavion Mitchell throws it out to Bryson Cruel, and there's gonna be. And are they gonna call on Cruel? Yes, they did. Maybe a little push off. That's giving us third. And now here's Matt Studi, senior guard. Sestro, spin move, wow! Sestro. And now to the other end, missed basket. Christian Ramos can't get it through. And it's Sam Straka who will get the rebound down the floor quickly. Carson Schwarz, Coster in the corner. Studi, fake three. He's going to take his time to take another one. And he's going to hit it. Matt Studi. And Bearcats start off this quarter 5-0. 47-18. Oh, almost a steals. And it's going to be spin with my horn. And there's going to be a foul on the floor. That is, I believe, on Sam Straka. If so, that is his second. It is his second. Team's first, 45 seconds into the second half and third quarter. For Platt and the Bearcats backcourt. Cruel for three. No, rebound, Sestro. His fourth. Here's Studi on the rush, and he's going to get fouled. Two free throws will come for Matt Studi. And I believe the foul might be on Horn. No, Christian Ramos is third. And Matt Studi will go to the line to shoot two. Matt Studi, not shot a free throw tonight. In fact, hasn't scored a point except for that three-pointer. Now he has four. 
Rowdy's doing a dilly dilly chant. They always seem to scream that out in lunch here at Carney High as he's two for two from the free throw line. Xavier Mitchell to Bryson Cruel here on the near wing in the corner. Cade Root off the stream. Screen, Christian Ramos. Bryson Cruel inside. Xavier Mitchell double teamed. Wants to get to Root. Bounces off the backboard, and there's going to be a foul on the floor. That's going to go to Matt Studi. His first. Team second. Minute 15 into the third quarter. Bryson Cruel throws it in. Cade Root far wing. Guarded by Matt Studi. Root going to go in, but and it's going to be a jump ball. Stroh had his hands in there, and it's going to be a turnover for North Platte. Bearcats dominating almost every aspect of this basketball game. As they lead by 31. Coster in the corner, Matt Studi doesn't take the three. Now inside Strucker, guarded by Mitchell. Goes up, right hand, no. Off it's a rebound, though. Matt Studi. Carson Schwarz gives it back to Straka. He's going to go up again. No. And Root will come away with the rebound. And they're going to bring it up the floor. Bounce pass to Mitchell. And there's going to be a foul call. Flappy, 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 flappy. Seth Stroh is going to get his third personal foul. Brett Oldmiller checks in for Stroh. He just committed his third foul of the game. Cruel gives it out to Horn. Perimeter now gives it to Christian Ramos. Guarded by Oldmiller inside Mitchell. Goes up. No. Rebound. Cruel. No. And it's going to be get by Cannon Coster. Schwarz lays it up. No. Mitchell is going to get the rebound. And now they're going to push the floor. Mitchell tipped away, and it's stolen by Obermiller, left hand. And there's going to be a foul on the floor. Christian Ramos is third. Team's second as Derek Ramos checks in. As does number 10, T uh, Witten. Uh, so does Ty Kramer for North Platte. Schwarz throw to throw it in. Gives it to Coster inside. Goes up. Gets the roll. Cannon Coster has 15. And Bearcats are on a 9 0 run to start this third quarter. Root, spin move, goes up with the right hand. Missed shot, rebound is by Withed. And now Derek Ramos in the corner to Kaya Kramer, back out. Root guarded by Straka closely, gets it away, turnover off the hands of Derek Ramos at the perimeter. And now here it comes freshman Jack Johnson. And, Sa and junior Royce Austin. Jack Johnson, one career point a few games back. And now Matt Studi going to drive in, back out. Coster fakes the three, going to go in, going to go up, and he's going to get fouled by Derek Ramos. Coster will go to the line. And at halftime, Doug Coster came up and told us it was his, it was uh, Cannon's, First ever three dunk game. So congrats to Cannon on that. He has 15 points tonight, two this quarter. And he's gonna miss the first free throw. Xavier on Mitchell will check back in for the Bulldogs of North Platte as Carney's Cannon Coster is up to the line for one more free throw. Missed the first one. Second one is going to be good. And now it's going to be Caleb Horn, the junior. Takes it up the floor. Gives it to Xavion Mitchell. 
6'5", senior, Ramos, Horn back in the corner. Rotates it around, and the Bulldogs do. With Ted, Horn, back out, Ramos, almost another turnover on the far wing. Koster got his hand on it, but it bounces back to Ramos. Derek Ramos will lay it in. Derek Ramos, first two points of the game. And they get North Platte their first two points of this half. Almost a half a quarter. And it's Royce Austin in the corner. Jack Johnson drives baseline. Get to go up with it. Nothing called. Loose ball down is Xavion Mitchell on the other end of the floor. Xavion Mitchell just lays it in. Went around Coster. Nice move by the 6'5 senior. And North Platte scored, has scored four straight. Royce Austin, Cannon Coster. Oba Miller off the screen for the Bearcats here in the Bulldogs' backcourt. Jack Johnson to Royce Austin. 3.35 left third quarter. Matt Studi back out to Austin. Takes his time, takes an open three, and he's going to hit it. Royce Austin for three. And now Derek Ramos tipped away by Matt Studi as Mitchell takes the three. No, rebound is by Coster, his sixth. Coster. And there's going to be a timeout for Carney. We'll take it with them. Bearcats lead it by 33, 55, 22. You're watching live here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back to Kearney, coming out of the timeout. It's the Bearcats who lead it 55-22. Matt Studi, the senior guard to inbound here in North Platte's backcourt. Owen Miller double teamed. He can get through it though. Goes up right hand, he's gonna get fouled. So he'll go to the line for two free throws. Derek Ramos will get charged to the foul, his second. Team's fourth. Brett Obermiller to go to the line. He has six points tonight. And make it seven. That's a new season high. For the senior. He was also one of the top wide receivers in the Bearcats run to the state championship in football earlier this fall. He makes the second. For Obi Miller, who now has eight points. Bounce pass, midcourt, Derek Ramos. Double team, Obi Miller steals it away. Down floor, Royce Austin is rejected. Rebound, Jack Johnson, who'll go up and get fouled. Royce Austin had the open layup, but the 6-5 in Nebraska. Wide receiver walk on or group. Bryson Cruel used his leg to go up and block the shot. Jack Johnson got the offensive rebound, the freshman, and will go up. And now has two career points for the freshman. Nathan Murray checks in, as does Colin Murray, the two brothers. And Jack Johnson misses the second. Rebound is by Tapman. At midcourt. Oh, Ramos got Austin flying, and Ramos missed the shot. Rebound is by Austin. He's going to come try and run the floor. Austin's going to hold up. And now up is Sestro on the inside pass. So Sestro has 16. And now Xavier Mitchell to bring it up the floor. Bryson Cruel. Inside, it was... I believe tip by Colin Murray, and it will stay down on the Bulldogs' end. Timeout North Platte. We'll take it with them. 2.13 left 
in the third quarter. Bearcats lead at 60-22 here live on the Bearcats Sports Network. Welcome back here to Kearney, and it looks like a line, almost a line change for the Bearcats as Jade Ingid, sophomore Keon Gorey, check in. So no starters out on the floor for the Bearcats, and most likely done for the night. Up inside to Mitchell, or, and he's going to be charged with the travel, Xavier Mitchell. And it's 60 22, one more basket, and it's giving a running clock for the remainder of the game. Two minutes left, third quarter. Inside, Gorey get physical down there with Tapman, and there's going to be a foul called. And it's going to be Tapman charged with the foul, his first. And now Cade Root checks in for Xavion Mitchell. Off the inbounds pass, Colin Murray. Bounce pass by Nathan Murray to Jane Ingen. In the corner, Royce Austin rotates it back around. Jane Ingen thought about the three, now gives it to Nathan Murray. Minute 40 left, third quarter. Colin Murray, far corner, gives it to Keon Gorey, but mishandled, maybe a little low of a pass, and it's a turned over. It's going to be Tapman, gives it to Cruel. Inside, Cade Root. Spin move, goes up, and he's going to get the basket. Cade Root, first field goal of the night. And now Royce Austin with a minute 10 left, third quarter. Gives it to Colin Murray. Back in the corner is Austin. Rotated around. Nathan Murray in the corner. Engen drives baseline. Back out Keon. Gorey now to Colin Murray for three. No, too strong. Rebound is by Keon Gorey. And they're going to reset. Nice movement here from the reserves. Nathan Murray. Jane Ingen for three. No, in and out. Rebound is by Derek Ramos. Up ahead, Kramer. North Plant with the possession. Derek Ramos, far corner. 30 seconds left. Tapman goes up, right hand. No, rebound is by Gorey. The sophomore post. Colin Murray. Up ahead, and get open again for three. Yes! This time, Ingen hits it. With 10 seconds to go in this third quarter. Bearcats lead by 39. Derek Ramos drives inside. Tries to win around the screen, did not work. And that is the end of the third quarter. Bearcats lead it by 39, 63, 24. You're watching live here on the Bearcat Sports Network.
Welcome back live here to Kearney. Beginning of the fourth quarter, your hosts, Jeff Ekstrom, along with Allie Myers, Jane Longfellow, uh, Alyssa Epler, and our executive producer, Robert Goff. All starters back in for the Bearcats. Most likely just get a couple more minutes of play and then be done for the night. So they lead by 39. One more basket for the Bearcats. And unless North Platte just does that, Caleb Horn. It's then up the floor. Coster thought about the three. Instead gives it to Schwarz. 30 seconds in. Sestro, Coster top of the point. Studi back out, far wing, drives in around a free throw line. Now back out to Coster. And now they're gonna work a play. Coster far wing, open three, yeah baby. Coster, first points of the fourth quarter. Inside pull up jumper, it is Caleb Horn. He has four points this quarter, all four from North Platte. 66-28, Sam Strzokka for three, he, you betcha. Sam Strzokka, second three of the night. He has eight. Xavier Mitchell rotates it around, Christian Ramos. And now it's Ramos again. And it's Horn in the corner, gets around the double team, dumps it off for with Ed, rejected by Stroh. Horn's gonna go back up again, and he's gonna get it. The roll. Caleb Horn, six this quarter. 69-30, but a basket here. Gets the running clock. 6.05 left. Sam Straka in the corner, Coster. Inside Stroh, but Horn with the steal. Three on one. And there's going to be a foul called on Sam Straka. That's Straka's third. Team's only third. And there's the line change. Same with North Platte. Brett Oman Miller, Jane Ingen, Colin Murray, Royce Austin, and Nathan Murray all check in for Carney. Derek Ramos, Bryson Cruel, Cade Root, Chastney Tapman, and then. It's going to be number 33, Kaya Kramer, all in for North Platte. Cruel at the top of the point, gives it to Derek Ramos, guarded by Colin Murray here in the near wing. Off the screen is going to be Bryson Cruel in the corner. Kramer inside, Tapman back out, Ramos in the corner now. Bryson Cruel, guarded by Brett Obenmiller. Now Derek Ramos, back out, Root, five minutes left. Inside and get a nice steal. Austin comes away with it. Down the floor. Murray. Now gives it to Austin. Back to Nathan Murray. Now back to Royce Austin. Nice move. He's going to go up and lay it in. Nice crossover by Royce Austin. He has five points. And now Derek Ramos. 4.30 left. Cade Root. Bryce and Cruel. Guarded by Nathan Murray. Rotates it far wing off the screen. Derek Ross now in the corner of Bryson Cruel. Nice pump fake. Gonna go in with the left hand. He's gonna lay it in. Bryson Cruel. Second field goal of the night. Oba Miller in the corner for three. Engen. No. Rebound is by Kramer. 71-32. Kramer, and it's going to be hit out of bounds by Royce Austin, the junior. And now here comes sophomore Owen Lytle coming on the floor. Talk to him. Now, I made a bet with him that he had to get his varsity jersey by mid-December. He did that and back in the media pro class. Now he has to start by mid-January. He's getting some playing time right now. Derek Ramos, top of the point. Bryson Cruel, far wing. And Tapman gives it to Kramer. Now Derek Ramos far near wing. Bryson Cruel guarded by Nathan Murray. 3.15 left. Cruel's going to drive. Tries to dump it off, but throws it away instead to Colin Murray on baseline. And now he's going to bring it up the court. In the corner, Engen. 
Gonna drive, has open lane, he's gonna go up. And there's gonna be a foul committed by K. Root and another line change coming for North Platte. Third personal, team's fourth. Team's eighth, excuse me. So Cardi on every will shoot free throws rest of the way. Engin makes his first free throw. Engin one for one for tonight now. Christian Ramos checks in. Caleb Hoare, Xavier Mitchell, Max Hayes, and Tia with Ted all checks in. And it's Gimme Engin who makes his second as well. And there it is, the running clock. Bearcats lead at 72 to 32. 210 left. Xavion Mitchell gives it to Hayes off the screen. Now with Ed inside Mitchell. Guarded by Lytle. Nice move by Mitchell hooking up and draw the foul. So Mitchell will go up for the and one. It is good. Only free throw of the night it was. And more players check it in for North Platte. It is number zero, uh, Aiden Ehrensdorf. Getting some playing time. Colin Murray brings it up with a minute 20 to go. They lead 72-35. Here's Owen Lytle. Drives it back out. Jack Johnson for three. No. Gets his own rebound. Nathan Murray now for three. No. Back out. Nathan Murray is going to get a rebound. Now they're going to rotate it around. Out of play, and it's going to be a turnover. Errant pass there. Checking for North Platte is Steven Garcia, number three. And uh, Chesney Tapman checks in for North Platte. 45 seconds. The Bearcats will move on to eight and three, while North Platte will go down to four and six. Inside Hayes tipped around. Nathan Murray will come up with it, and down the floor, Colin Murray gives it to his brother Nathan. No, missed three. Rebound, Keon Gorey goes up with it. No, missed shot, gets another rebound. And it is finally going to be a jump ball called. But Keon Gorey with two offensive rebounds. Carney High will stick with it with five seconds to go. We'll see if they try to get one last shot. And no, they're going to hold it here as the Bearcats get a decisive victory here tonight. 72-35, to a dominating performance led by the duo of Seth Stroh and Cannon Coster. Stroh had 16, while well, it was Coster who had 18, 19, excuse me. And so we'll take a break for the post game show. Come back, stat scores from around the state and get you on your way. Again, the final, 72-35. We'll come back with the post game show here on the Bearcat Sports Network.
Welcome you back live here to Kearney High as the Bearcats have a 73 to 35 victory. They sweep North Platte tonight. The girls earlier this year at a earlier tonight at a 52 to 38 win, and now the boys come out with a 73 to 35 victory. Let's recap the stats. First, we'll start with North Platte. Leading the way was Xavier Mitchell, 11 points, four rebounds. Then uh, Caleb Horn, 11 points and no rebounds. He had six of his points in that fourth quarter. It was Cade Root, three points, two rebounds. Uh, Kaya Kramer, one rebound. T with Ed, two points, two rebound. Derek Ramos, two points, one rebound. Chesney Tapman, two points, two rebounds. And then it was then uh, Bryson Crewell, four points for, and two rebounds. They had 35 total points. And a four, they will move to four and six on the season. Four carding high, leading the way, Cannon Coster, 19 points, six rebounds. Sestro, not far behind, 16 points, four rebounds. Sam Straka, eight points, three rebounds. Carson Suarez, six points. Royce Austin, five points and a rebound. Matthew Studi, five points, one rebound. Jane Engid, five points. Keon Gorey, four rebounds. Nathan Murray, three rebounds. And Jack Johnson, the freshman, one point and two rebounds. The Bearcats had 73 total points from the free throw line. They went 12 of 15 for the free throw line tonight. So again, a nice free throw line tonight from the Bearcats uh, from around uh, the other states. Uh, Bellevue East leads Pavilion La Vista South, 66, 63, 18 seconds left on the clock. Looking more around uh, Platteview. Girls basketball in that top ranked game today. Lost 47, 38 in a final as Lincoln High beats Grand Island, 74, 66 in overtime. So a close one over there in Lincoln. And speaking of Lincoln, that's where the Bearcats will head tomorrow as they play at 5.15, girls at 3.30 as they will play Lincoln Southeast Knights uh, tomorrow afternoon in that one. Our next broadcast will be next Friday as it is Lincoln Northeast, a rematch of the A4 district final from last year as the Bearcats take on a Lincoln, kind of rebuilding Lincoln Northeast squad who lost their all-state player Malcolm Withlow to transfer as he went over to Florida. So that's kind of the upcoming schedule uh, for Kearney. Uh, as for North Platte, as we bring up their schedule right here, they will take on Lincoln High tomorrow, a tough one after the uh, Lynx pulled out an overtime victory over Grand Island. They will host Lincoln High tomorrow, who is now 7-4. and four. So North Platte 4-6, and six, Bearcats 8-3. and three. Carney travels Lincoln Southeast tomorrow, plays tip-off at 5.15, girls at 3.30, then come and host next week at Lincoln Northeast. That game will be streamed live here at BSN. Well, that's going to do it for this post-game show. Uh, I have been your host, Jeff Ekstrom, uh, Ali Myers, Jane uh, uh, Longfellow, Alyssa Epler, our executive producer, Robert Goff. Boys, a 73-35 victory. Girls earlier with a 52-38 victory over the Bulldogs. So thank you for everyone for joining us here tonight. We'll see you next Friday. Good night, everyone.